Welcome folks to a Formula One video. I'm Samurai TX and in the last race in the United States Grand Prix of World Championship mode, we finished seventh after and qualifying in 15. So with that being said, let's check the point standings after the United States Grand Prix. Fernando Alonso extends his lead over Michael Schumacher to 17 points after winning and Massa is um, 24 points down. Roderick Barrichello moving up to 4th after Fisichella's retirement. Barton and Montoya switch places in 6th and 7th. We stay 8th. And Raikkonen is 9th on 17th with truly 10th on um, 10 after scoring 1 point. And um, the rest of the um, positions don't change. And nobody else scored points. So, Ralph Schumacher, Mark Webber, and Jack Villeneuve all having shocking seasons still. So, now on to the constructor standings. Ferrari extend their lead to Renault to six points after Fisichella's retirement, and Fernando Alonso's win is proving not to be enough at the moment. Honda's third with McLaren fourth. Super Agree extend their um, lead in fifth over Toyota to just one point. So, now they're nine points ahead with um, Toro Rosso. Red Bull on the same points in 7th and 8th. And then um, 9th, 10th and 11th is Sauber, um, Cos Williams, Cosworth and Midland F1. Now we're going to go to James Allen to take it away as we are um, going to drive around Manicor in France. Take it away, James. The wonderfully serene rural peace here at Manicor is about to be shattered as we enter phase one of Saturday's qualifying session. Remember, the slowest six cars in this session will make up the last six places on the grid. The rest will go through to session two. We have Jacques Villeneuve leaving the pit lane first as session one begins. Thank you, James. And here we are um, in our first lap and we've run right there and we've made a mistake there going for a wheel spin and that lap does not count, unfortunately, because we uh, cut the chicane in the final sector. So it looks like we're going to have to do that time again. And um, unfortunately, we waited near the end because um, a lot of cars were getting in my way, so I decided to just wait to the end where um, I have an empty track, and I do. So, so far, so good. We are on track to, um, on course of getting into the second knockout session, and there we are, we're P11. With a 1 minute 18.418. Will that be enough to make it to Q2? We'll continue in a few moments with the second knockout session. Where we'll decide grip positions 16 to 11. And it was enough as um, Liuzzi, Montero, Jacques Villeneuve, Christian Albers, Scott Speed, and Yuji Ide Alimne. We qualified 12. So we were 1.1 1. Um, 1. 1 seconds faster than Liuzzi. So we was not in trouble whatsoever. That's good enough, really. And um, let's go to Q2. And here we are. We're 16th currently, and we're going to um, run wide again. My goodness, look at that wheel spin. My goodness, and that did not count. Now we have um, zoomed to the next period, and we've got 30 seconds left to complete a lap. We are one tenth slower in the second sector, but we're fast. And then we run right. No, this is not what we want. Oh dear, that's really lost a few attempts out to Takuma Sato. And that's definitely his um, qualified session over, but we're going to still follow um, Takuma Sato as he's. Um, two corners away from finishing the um, lap so here's the penultimate corner then the final two corners here and here and we get one minute 18.61 um, 683 which is two tenths slower than our first um, sector and we were only one tenth off Nico Rosberg we'll continue with session three of qualifying in a few moments. imagine if we did not make that mistake we definitely would have at least qualified in p10 or p9 I'm kind of disappointed with myself, but this is what happens when you have zero practice and just go into the French Grand Prix without practicing. But um, this is my um, World Championship mode where I'm going to get a lot of practice heading into career mode. But um, yeah, I'm 12th place in the Super Agree. That's not too bad. And um, Jensen Button is out. So Nico Rosberg made it through Jensen Button's expense. So I'm still looking forward to see who gets pole position in the French Grand Prix. But um, i got a lot of work to do if I want to score some points. Not as much work as I had in the United States, but um, I do fancy my chances if uh, my pace is going to remain that consistent. But um, for now, let's check who got the um, pole position in the top 10 shootout. So there we have it. From 10th to pole, the grid order looks like this. Great qualifying session. I've really enjoyed it, and I'm sure you have too. Looking at the grid lineup, there seems to be a number of intriguing battles waiting to be resolved on race day. We look forward to sharing it with you. Goodbye. Wow, Juan Pablo Montoya is five tenths, half a second faster than Felipe Massa, and nearly a whole second quicker than Michael Schumacher and Fisichella. Truly in fifth place is 1.4 seconds off the pace. My goodness, Alonso's ninth. The world championship leader is ninth, so that is well needed by the Ferraris to out-qualify Fernando Alonso. And Fernando Alonso's having a miserable weekend. So he's going to be in the ride of his life as he's got to overtake a lot of cars. It's doable, but we shall see what happens. 
Um, so we're going to make it go to Martin Brando as he's going to talk about the French Grand Prix and the grid. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited for this race. I start P12 and I do fancy my chances of scoring points because my starts are magnificent. But um, without further ado, it's time to enjoy the French Grand Prix. Welcome to Manny Court, 2.6 miles of the smoothest tarmac you'll ever find. This is the French Grand Prix. Manny Court, the current home of the French Grand Prix, is situated in idyllic countryside and was originally designed to incorporate features from other famous circuits. This is why some of its corners take their names from other Grand Prix venues. The track itself has one of the best surfaces on the Formula One calendar, but its tight layout can make overtaking quite difficult. It's a clear day here at the moment, good visibility for the drivers. Thanks for that, Martin. And we are going to the grid as we start P12. We had our own um, parade lap there. As you can see, our uh, rear tyres are hot, but um, our front ones were cold. We tried to heat them up, but nothing was happening. But when the five lights go out here, we will be racing here in Magnicor in France. As we hit the acceleration, it is lights out on the way we go. And what a start by Takuma Sato. He looks like he's going to overtake Jensen Button rather easily. And he does, and Kimi Raikkonen is next in the overtaking department, but we break to not hit him. Got to be careful not to take any damage, and whoa, let's not go too quickly. But we moved up one place, which is good, but um, here's where everybody's slow on the braking zone. Um, heading into um, turn three, we've overtaken Kimi Raikkonen for 10th place. Next is Nico Rosberg for P9. Alonso's in the final points position, so he's at least overtaken Nico Rosberg already. And we've overtaken Nico Rosberg for P9. Yes, we've made it stick. And next is Fernando Alonso. Can you believe it? We're actually feeling racy under the... Um, wow! As we said, we're feeling racy. We overtook Alonso very easily there. So next is Nick Heidfeld. Alonso's out of the points. While the Ferraris are um, taking advantage of this. And we've overtaken Nick Heidfeld for P7. And Barricade... Oh, contact! Oh, dear. Don't crash each other's two Hondas. Sato has to run wide and give Barrichello back the... Um, position just in case we get penalized and um, we still fancy our chance against Barrichello here what a start by Sato moving up five places and he still fancies his chances against Barrichello here and he's going to overtake Barrichello for sixth place already moving up to P6 amazing start by Takuma Sato next is Fizzy Keller the second Renault and uh, well Fizzy Keller has to um, hold the flag for the Renault team as um, Fernando Alonso is not in the point so it's lap two here, and we're um, fancying our chances against Fizzy Keller, who's also fancying his chances against Yano Truly. So our battle has just begun. We gotta um, have as much. We gotta um, get as much overtakes in as we can, because um, our car's really slow, and um, within the first two laps, the AI tend to be very slow, actually. So yeah, we really gotta get these overtakes done as soon as possible. So, um, yeah, we're going to try and keep up with um, the Renault, even though the Renault's um, speed is better. And Fizikella fancies his chances on Yano Trulli in front of us. And has Fizikella overtaken Yano Trulli? No, he hasn't. Trulli has held his position. Great, great um, fight by Fizikella and Trulli. Um, surely um, we're going to fancy our chances here as these two continue to battle. Here we are. Look, we've closed up on Fizikella and we're going to overtake him. What a pass by Sato as he's in P5. Next down the road is Yano Trulli. So... The battle did not really pay off for Fizzy Keller as um, Yano truly does remain P4, but Fizzy Keller's dropped to P6 behind the Super Agree of Takuma Sato. And I had to hold my breath for a second. and uh, Well, not hold my breath. I had to take a deep breath because that was a lot to take in. Now, truly is the next person to pass on lap two. And it seems the Ferraris of Michael Schumacher and Massa and Montoya are getting away from them, um, truly. But truly's trying his best to keep up. But um, at the moment, I just don't see him um, catching up with them. And wow, we just leaped over the curve like we're Vitaly Petrov from Malaysia trying to take a little bump up the sky like we're flying. But <laughs> good thing nothing happened. We're going to skip to um, lap um, near the end of lap three as we do fancy our chances on lap, um, Gianna Truly. Lap four, sorry, not lap three. We, um... We skipped to lap three, um, skipped lap three because there was nothing happening. And there's contact. We lost our front wing, but that overtake seems to be clean because we only had two tyres of the track. We didn't have all four tyres of the track of us. I'd have to give position back to Yano Truly. So we're in P4. Great stuff by Takuma Sato. And now we can try and pull a gap on them and try and catch up with Michael Schumacher. And that's never going to happen. As we skip another um, lap and go into the um, sector three, we are still P4 and... Um, we are still um, controlling this position. And we ran wide. No, that's not what we want. And we've ran around. And Fizzy Keller's pushed us off the track. What a cheeky overtake by Fizzy Keller to push us off the track. And now we are in trouble because now we've got Barry Keller behind us. And um, we're going to try and hold our position here. 
And we've got zero seconds as we've got penalised thanks to Fizzy Keller pushing us off the track. Um, I don't know if Fizzy will blame Fizzy Keller for that overtake. And Barry Keller has fancy discharges, but no, Sato has um, defended his position rather well. I don't know who you will blame for that. Me or Fizzy Keller? I did run wide trying to regain my position, and then Fizzy Keller did push me off the track. I don't know who you blame. I'll just put that down as a racing incident for my penalty, but um, that was a bit of a naughty move by Fizzy Keller. I think a lot of people would say that was a bit naughty by him, but that's the AI in this game. They're pretty racy, which I like. We're going to skip to, to um, lap seven, and um, we are sh scheduled to pit this lap. So um, we're in second place after Michael Schumacher pit. The Barry Kello fancies his chance. Oh, dear. We got contact. We got minor damage on our front wing. I don't think we will change it in the pit lane. Maybe we will, but Barry Kello has overtaken us for B2. And, whoa, we've run wide. Oh, my goodness. And, well, that is um, all she wrote here. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, Fernando Alonso's really fancying his chances as he's ramming up out inside. And he's overtaken us for P3. Fernando Alonso's over ahead of us. And now he wants to take advantage of um, the situation as he wants to um, get ahead of the Ferraris as he pits. But um, we're not giving up our position just yet from Fernando Alonso. Come back here. We're going to try and do a dive bomb. And a dive bomb worked. And we're in P3. My goodness, what a battle we're having here with um, the Renaults. Fizikella's already um, gone, so he's pitted. I, I expect him to join and be ahead of us when um, we pit. But here we come. We're going to... Oh, my goodness. Contact with another runner. And Fernando Alonso doesn't have a battle in the pit lane. My goodness. That was a duke it up battle. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That was insane. We were having a battle in a wheel to wheel battle in the pit lane. All right, let's see how we do. Oh, dear. That was very slow. That's... Um, and the fuel hose is stuck. Oh, no. We're going to lose out here big time. And it's a 9.7 second pit stop, but that fuel hose was stuck in us. And um, looks like, um, I think Fernando Alonso is still behind us. Ouch, we hit the barriers. Lucky our wheel didn't come off. And do we end up behind truly? Yes, we do. And Barry Keller, we've... Um, oh, dear. Just to sum up our um, luck, we um, got a bit penalized for um, driving over the white line before exiting the pit lane. Now we're going to um, skip a lap and we're going to be behind truly. And we're battling for P6. Either way, um, we're still battling at the points, which is a good thing. Barrichello is gone while we're chasing Trulli down. Hopefully, we do have a clean overtake on him compared to last time when we damaged our front wing. But we've ran wide. Not what we want here. Not at all. Then Yano Trulli will pull away just a bit more. But we will catch up considering we have um, a better... Um, well, we always have better Sector 2 and 3 on Yano Trulli or anybody, really. But um, Sector 1 is always our weak spot. But um, here comes Fernando Alonso trying to dive bomb. My goodness, he's trying to dive bomb us for um, um, seventh place here. And um, Fernando Alonso really is furious as he's stuck behind the Super Aguri. And so is Kimi Raikkonen, actually, as Kimi Raikkonen does fancy his chances behind Fernando Alonso for the final points position. But it's not really the weekend Fernando Alonso wanted, considering um, his rivals Felipe Massa and Michael Schumacher are well ahead of him. So this will be a chunk of points um, being removed from Fernando Alonso's championship lead. And uh, Michael Schumacher does need to win or finish second to at least close that down a bit more than he should. But I think right now he's running third place. And I think uh, Montoya's second. Yes, he is, as I can see on the radar. And I think that's Felipe Massa ahead. I think that's Felipe Massa. I'm not really sure. But Montoya has been consistent all weekend. He's been very competitive and he's deserving of that podium. But um, let's focus on the battle for sixth place here as we've caught up with Yano Trulli again. And we are on lap um, 10 of this race. And um, Yano Trulli is on... Um, has um, pitted um, a lap before, so our tyres are much fresher. But I don't think that really matters. Our, um, um, our exits and whatnot have been much better um, in heading into the corners. We've um, picked up more speed going into them and we've been taking more risks heading into them so that we can catch up to Trulli. And here we go, going for a dive bomb on Yano Trulli. Will it work? Yes, it does. And that's P6 for Takuma Sato. And Trulli does touch him, but nope. He's kept his he's kept sick place to Takuma Sato and he's made it stick. And next is Fernando Alonso for Yano Trulli. Can he overtake Yano Trulli for P7? We're going to skip ahead to um, lap 12 and... Um, well, they're talking about Massa's battle with uh, Montoya, I believe, because Montoya is trying to catch up. And uh, Michael Schumacher is trying to catch up with Montoya. Well, Fizikella is down the line, as you can see, and Barry Keller. So everyone's really having their own race. Massa is stretching far ahead of Montoya. Michael Schumacher is battling Montoya. Fizikella is just having a battle with himself and a ghost. And Barry Keller is having a battle with himself. We're going to skip to the penultimate lap of the race, which is lap um, 13. And um, we are coaxing at home as we are still in P6. And... Uh, 
um, we are talking about Massa, I believe, still. Yeah, I think Martin Brunner was talking about um, Felipe Massa there, um, pulling away from Montoya, but um, that's not really our concern. Right now, we are focusing on our battle with um, Yano Trulli. We are 1.7 seconds ahead, so P6 should be ours, to be honest with you, unless we um, somehow fluff our lines, which I hope not. Um, for um, me to be driving in a Super Aguri and be in sixth place on a track I have not raced on for... Um, since 2007 i believe that's um, considerably a great achievement for me to be honest so yeah I'm, I'm gonna drive this home this actually feels like a victory for me personally considering i'm in the super aguri as well so this really does feel like a victory yano truly is now 0.9 seconds down the road so nine tenths behind and he is closing down as he should because he's in the faster car but yeah, um, as the French Grand Prix, speaking of the French Grand Prix, it is back on the calendar for this season, and I hope it will be a great race. It's not going to be at Manicor, unfortunately, but um, it is at, um, I think they call it Paul Picard or something. I'm not sure what the track is called. Um, I might have to correct myself in the comments um, when I am, when this video uploads. I will correct myself in the comments. I'm not too sure what it's called, but we start our final lap, and so as um, Felipe Massa, Michael Schumacher, and Montoya... And um, it's been a good race for us. Um, I said um, we have do fan I do fancy my chances, and the start made it for me. The first um, two um, laps for me, because I moved up to P4. That was very important for me to get that kind of start when I did. But yeah, we're really doing very good here as when we're um, in the second sector, and we are um, at least how many turnings away from the um, sixth place? Um, at least um, seven more turns away from. Um, the final lap but we're going to follow sato through as we are on board with him for the, throughout the entire of the final lap because um we still have a battle with yano truly well i would say i do say battle but it's not really a battle because truly is um two seconds down the road now as you can see on the radar two to three seconds so um we're coaxing the home slowly because we don't really need to push hard because of the fact that we are well ahead of yano truly we did somehow pull a great first sector over him, so now we're in the um, penultimate turn, and then um, the final two turns, and we come home in sixth place, and there's going to be a team radio coming up. Guys, listen to me. This is a win for us. This is a win. Unbelievable for everyone. Unbelievable. I agree. That team radio does exp express my emotions. It really does feel like a win. Sixth place on a track that I've not raced around for... Um, 11 years i do feel fantastic about the sixth place result truly um, finished seventh while fernando alonso came home in eighth as we fly out to the Far East for China and Japan. This phase of the season is set to be very interesting indeed. All of the European circuits ahead of us are infamous for unpredictable weather, but famous for their high-speed thrills and spills. See you in two weeks when we head over to Hockenheim for the German Grand Prix. Thank you, Martin. What a race that was, actually. Um, the first the first two laps definitely defined my race. Fortunately, I did get penalties, otherwise I would have been higher up, but... Um, I'm very happy with uh, my um, I'm very happy with my performance and I did get another few points so scoring points is very important for me because of the fact that um, you know um, it is imp it, it's what I need uh, Fernando Alonso's lead is cut down to 12 points on Michael Schumacher Mass has also clawed his gap down Fisichella moves back to fourth Barrichello drops to fifth and Montoya moves up ahead of Jensen Button while we stay in eighth while Kimi Raikkonen um, gets caught by Ono Truly by um, two points. So Kimi Raikkonen's miserable season continues, as does Ralph Schumacher, Jack Villeneuve, and Mark Webber's. And I was right about the next track, um, the French Grand Prix track this year. It is at Paul Ricard. Right, Ferrari extend their lead over Renault to 16 points, with Honda getting away from McLaren, 15 points ahead, and we are 10 points ahead of um, Toyota. So that's pretty much what we need. And... Um, Going into Germany, I'm kind of confident, even though I've not raced around that track in a very long time. But still, I'm very confident heading into Hockenheim. But anyway, what a race we have. And um, yeah, the French Grand Prix is at Paul Ricard. I was right there um, about the... Um, I don't think the pronunciation is right, but yeah, the circuit is called Circuit Paul Ricard. 
But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the German Grand Prix uh, next week. It will be uploaded um, before the Spanish Grand Prix or after it. I don't know, but um, we shall see. But um, the German Grand Prix is going to be exciting. And it's the home race of Michael Schumacher, Ralf Schumacher and other Germans. But yes, um, can Michael Schumacher close the gap down to Fernando Alonso yet again? Or will Fernando Alonso um, sabotage a homecoming for the Schumacher brothers? Mostly Michael in this case, because he's the closest challenger to him. And so is Massa, because he won the race. So momentum's on Ferrari's side. How will Renault respond? There's only one way to find out, and that's next week as you tune into the German Grand Prix next week. So this is Samurai TX signing out. Until then, until then. Thank you guys for watching the French Grand Prix, and I shall see you next week as we race in Hockenheim. Goodbye, everybody.